What's up guys, Buckland here to bring you another video. <coughs> Today we are hopping back in to anyone there. Um, if you have not seen my first video on this, I will leave a little screen card at the top right of your screen right about now. Um, watch that one before you watch this one. Uh, or watch this one and then that one. I really don't give a two. But yeah, so last time we beat this, um, I wanted to hop into the stories and see what the stories were all about. So that is what we're going to do today. So without further ado, everyone, why don't you just uh, go ahead and buckle in for the ride. All right, so <clears throat> last episode, we discovered it was Michael who was possessed by this demon. So let's go ahead and, okay, Michael had moved to a new town and was alone in his new school. He had lost all of his friends and felt very lonely. One day, as he was walking through the school corridors, he heard about a hidden grimoire in his secret closet. Curious, he decided to look for it. He eventually found the closet and discovered the grimoire. He began to flip through it and was fascinated by the, in, uh, by the spells and incantations it contained. He decided to try one of them and drew a chalk pentagon pentacle on the floor of the empty classroom where he was hiding. He recited the incantation out loud and waited. After a few minutes, he heard a strange noise and saw a horrible creature emerge from the pentacle. The creature was skeletal. It slowly approached Michael, who screamed in terror and tried to flee. This time, he managed to escape the creature, but he was seriously injured during his escape. Okay, so he wasn't possessed. Uh, he just kind of conjured this creature. Also, what does it mean by this time? This time. I don't know. He managed to find a phone and call for help, but he was already severely weakened. When the rescue team arrived, they found him lying on the floor covered in wounds. They took him to the hospital where he was treated for his injuries. When he great regained consciousness, he told his story to the doctors, but no one believed him. He was eventually put on sedatives and interned in a psychiatric hospital. Michael stayed there for years, telling the story to anyone who would listen, but no one ever believed him, and he died alone and forgotten, haunted by the memories of the terrible creature he had summoned. That is a terrible way to go. Uh, oops. Okay, so all we have is Michael, because that's all we've done. S oh, so with each one... Oh, okay. So with each time you play it, much like the map, there's a different outcome with each ending okay i gotcha i'm picking up what you're putting down so for us to get more stories we have to play more interesting well i mean if that's the case i uh i guess we have to hop back in let's dive into this head first and hope it's not shallow waters i am ready to face a monster today yes i am okay yep 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 i forgot how to play <laughs> no we'll be fine we'll be fine Oh. oh. Okay. Forgot. Alright, so. Got it. Okay. Alright, I forgot how to play. That's okay, though. How do I? Oh, I remember now. Okay. Okay. Uh. There is nowhere to hide in here. Where the fuck do I hide if I need to hide? There is nowhere to hide. And there's no other where to go. What the fuck? I'm fucked. The tables, maybe? I don't know. This is sketchy, dude. Dog, I am... What? What? How is there nothing over here? Am I dumb or something, dog? Oh, he's close. Oh, he's close. Oh, he's close. <laughs> Fuck! Oh, he's close. We're good. Oh, we're done. We're done, Zomagid. Oh, no, we're not. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, that fucking blows. How... It's probably in the hallway somewhere, honestly. <laughs> there he goes. Okay, you know what? We're gonna... Relax, dude. Relax. 
No one is chasing after you. No one is here. Yo, I forgot how fucking terrifying this game is. Jesus. Alright, so I'm just gonna run back and see if I can find something in the hallway. Okay. I am stuck on Band-Aid Brand because Band-Aid stuck on me. Aha. Okay. I don't know if that was it. That was it. Sweet. Okay. I am stuck on Band-Aid Brand because Band-Aid stuck on me. Okay. Gucci, bro. We're Gucci. That's too close for comfort, bud. Shit. Okay. To keep in mind of where I am at all times. It's one false move, and I'm Dunzo McGee. Nothing in here that it looks like. Could be wrong. You sound very close, my dude. Well, because you are very close. So I have three more rooms to go into in this area. Still more. Wow. Okay. Check the computers. Itch. Nothing. Okay. I already got the clock. So we don't need that again. So, so far we know that it was, uh, it was 622 in the afternoon. Need to find one more student and we don't know where anybody was any, we don't know what day it was. We don't know who or where those classes were or who were in those classes. Okay. If that makes any sense. I don't know where I am. Fuck it. Is there anything in here? Anything in here? Sweet. So we can either go up or we can go to the left. I hate making these decisions. Why don't we go up and then go to the left? Let's do that. Let's go up and then left. Got it. Okay. 
So there's two classrooms right here. That's all right. Nothing on the desks. There's nothing in this room. Okay. There's one right across the way. Oh, fuck. Yeah, he's mad at me now. He's looking for me. So that's it from there. Let's now go to the left. So we'll know where we are when we come out of this room. This way. Okay. Wrong move. Oh, it's just emptiness here. It's no problem. No pr oh fuck, no problem at all. Oh fuck me. There we go. Alright, nothing here either. That's okay. What you know about feeling good, huh? What you know about feeling good, bruh? Oh, for a brisk jog, are we? He's just bizarre, man. Yep, I don't know where he is, but... Alright, fuck it. Was I here already? I was. Okay. That's okay. Let's go right here. Nope. Okay. So, I'm thinking... That's the middle area? can't be. So, hold on a second. Let's go back through here. Okay. Let's think about this for a moment. Is that center area... What is that? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Oh, fuck, he's close. Fuck! Oh my god! Oh fuck! I was holding my breath. Okay. Where the fuck are we? I got so turned around. Alright, so library. That is blurry, my friend. Okay. Library, we went that way. So if we keep following, and then at the end... Okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. I am picking up what you are putting down. Okay. Gotcha! Alright. Where are we? Oh, I know where we are. We're right here, bud. We're Gucci, bruh. We're Gucci. Damn! There ain't shit over here, bro! We're chilling still. We're still chilling. We are still chilling. And that's gonna be to the library right there. We don't want that. There we go. Okay. So. So we are down there. Okay. Let's check out what's in here, I guess. Probably nothing, but. I feel like we have to check, anyways. Okay, nothing in here. Oh, I hate the gym. Oh, do I hate the gym. This is not good. Okay, let's just take a breather for a moment. 
I don't I don't think it would be in the gym. That's way too big of an area. It's gotta be in either one of the changing rooms or it's gotta be in the hallway. I don't fucking know what to tell you, bud. One or the other. Alright, so we just checked this one. I don't believe it was in here. Yeah, no, it's not in here. So let's sweep the hall. See if I notice anything different. Anything out of the ordinary. Yeah, ha! Fucking knew it. Fucking knew it. Now it's good. Okay. Now it's gonna be a trial and error on whether or not I go to the right exit or not. That's gonna be fun. Let's check this one. No, I meant the wrong one. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Wow. Lots of stuff in here. Lots of rooms, I mean. We're still missing a calendar. We're still missing a day. We need a day still. No days in here. Okay. Alright, anything on the desks? I don't believe so. Okay. This one has two rooms, so I have to go up there. Okay. Let's check it out. Not good. Get in the fucking locker, dude. Holy fuck. That locker almost didn't open the fuck up for me. That was not good, friend. Okay, let's go ahead and check this room here. Any kind of clues? Yes. Fuck yeah. Okay. At least one more. God damn it, man. These computers are annoying, man. <laughs> Excuse me. Mmm. Good old misdirection, huh? See, they put the computers in here to make you think there's something important on there. When in reality, it's nothing important at all. I'm running out of rooms to check, bud. Okay. <laughs> We're fine. He's not gonna find us. Gander. Yeah, here we go. Okay. One more clue, probably. And we should be good to go. Yep. Okay. Let's hide back in here for a moment. Alright, sweet. So we have more than half of the board done already. Very good. Now what's gonna happen is I'm going to run out through the exit, cut through the whole thing, and start from the bottom up. Let's do it. Okay. Boom. Bazooka bubble. Oops, I gotta go this way. Duh. Okay, that's a library. We don't want that. We gotta go this way. Bazunga. Haha! Yup. We know what day it is. It's a Wednesday. My dudes. Right across. Wham bam, thank you, man. Board. That was easy. Okay, now we have to go all the way through, up to the top, and then we can work our way down from the top then. Sweet. Working out swimmingly. 
Nothing too bad here. Okay. Got something in the middle. We're okay still. We're okay still. We are still okay. Alright. So we got one, two, four, five, we got five rooms, but the bathroom is usually never one. So we're in a smaller classroom, so we have to cut straight across. We can do that. Let me just double check to make sure I didn't miss anything. Uh, negative, sir. Okay. Goddamn computers, man. Aha. Like I said, misdirection. It makes you think that you're gonna get a clue from that, when in reality, you probably most likely are not. Sweet. Okay. Now where are we? We are by that. So we have to go all the way over to the next exit. Okie dokie. Okay. I hate this, dude. I hate the locker rooms, man. It's such a confined space. Please, something in here? Ugh. Golly. There it is. In the hallway again. That one's good. Sweet. I'm gonna assume the, the fucking Pentagon shit is gonna be at the bottom. Because for some reason it, like, it likes corners. Okay. Yeah. So it's, it's gonna be in the, the bottom right corner. We're, we're making some pretty great progress here, though. I'll tell you that. Let's get her done. Oh, shit. Let's get her done, boys and girls. Okay. So we have to find one more either notebook or computer or whatever the fuck. Probably one more panel, at least. So now I have a feeling it's going to be one of the computers. Let's hide. Shit. I can hide, motherfucker. Well, I do have four rooms to look at, so... I missed one. Oh, it's not plugged in. That's fine. Okay, let's go in here. Whoopsh. Hell yeah. Give me this shit. So there's the last person, I'm assuming. There's the rest of the clues, probably. So now... <laughs> Alright. Oh, I was wrong. So it's Lucy that's gonna be the fucking bitch. God damn it. Alright. Lucy, you're an asshole. Just letting you know, bud. Oh, no you're not. Let's find one more person. Yikes. Let's find one more person. Why the fuck am I looking in here? There's nothing in here. I'm an idiot and I'm stupid. Okay, let's do this first. Gonna be nothing in here, that's fine. Okay, let's check out. Oh, I hate this part. This part sucks the most. Okay, we're fine. We are okay. We are A. Okay. Yes, give me this shit. Who is it? Melanie? Alright. So, Lucy, you are donezo. Lucy, you're done. Lucy, you are... Oh, Lucy? Get the fuck out of here, Lucy. You're done. Yep. Yep. Sorry, Lucy. But you suck. Alright, let's go to stories. We got Michael, now let's look at Lucy. There was once a young girl named Lucy who was a prodigy and had always been the best in her class. However, one day she received a very poor grade on an exam and couldn't accept it. She was convinced that she deserved better and that there must have been a mistake somewhere. 
Determined to find a solution, Lucy began searching through books on magic and witchcraft on the at the library. She eventually stumbled upon an old grimoire uh, containing spells and incantations for summoning creatures from beyond. Cool. Without thinking of the consequences, Louis drew a chalk pentacle on the floor and began reciting the incantation from the grimoire immediately. A horrible creature appeared out of nowhere. Why the fuck would you do that? The creature attacked Lucy, but, but fortunately she managed to escape before it was too late. She called for help and was taken to the hospital where she, where she was treated for serious injuries, okay? Unfortunately, the creature continued to terrorize the school, killing and devouring anyone in its path. Well, there you go, Lucy. There's your fucking whatever. Lucy was arrested and charged with criminal ne negligence for summoning the creature. She spent the rest of her life in prison, repenting for her actions and the horror she had caused. Imagine being arrested because you fucking summoned a demon. Because you were mad. That's fucked up, dude. Alright, well now we have Michael and Lucy. Should we try it again? Should we get another one? I, th You know what? I say we do another one. Let's, let's do another one. Let's just do it. Alright, off to a pretty good start. Time. Okay. Nothing here. That it looks like at least. Something right here though, hell yeah. Yes. Fucker. Fuck! I'm- I'm fucking dead. I thought for sure I was fucking dead. I gotta be missing something, dude. See if I can oh, I missed this. Fuck, how did I miss this? God damn it. Yes, sir. There's more? Shit. There she blows. Yes. Yes. I fucking knew it, dude. It's fucking Matthew. I fucking knew it. Matthew, where you at, buddy? Matthew, where you at, buddy? Matthew, where you at, buddy? There you are. Thank you so much, sir. I appreciate your time. And, demon, you are sent back to where you have came from. Motherfucker. Now yeah, you'll be alright. Relax. Sweet. Story unlock in the main menu. Let's figure out what happened to Matthew. Matthew was a teenager who always had a hard time making friends and fitting in at school. One day, while he was cleaning out an old closet at school, he stumbled upon an ancient, dusty grimoire. He didn't know what it was at first, but something about the book drew him in. He started reading it pages, its pages, and to his surprise, he found spells and incantations that seemed to have real power. Matthew couldn't resist the temptation and decided to test out one of these spells. He drew a chalk pentacle on the floor of the classroom and recited the incantation. He didn't know what to expect, but he could never have imagined that it would summon a horrible creature. The creature was tall and thin, had a single yellow eye, and scythes for hands. It let out a hissing threat as it looked Matthew straight in the eyes. Matthew immediately realized he had made a mistake and tried to back out, but it was too late. The creature started attacking the other students in the school, who screamed and ran in every direction. Matthew was paralyzed with fear and didn't know what to do. He eventually managed to escape and go get help but he knew he would never be able to forget what he had done. The creature was still out there, somewhere, waiting to strike again. That's it? No fucking horrible ending for this douchebag? That's disappointing. Well guys, there you have it. There are some more stories for this anyone there. I do plan on coming back and uh, finding some more stories to read, because these are very interesting. I love how the more you play, the more stories you get. That's awesome. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe if you want to see more of me. Hit that bell button so you are never missing a fantastic moment here on the Buckland FTR channel. And leave your comment down below on what game you want me to play next. I just might do that. With all that being said, guys, I will see you all in the next one. 
Bakırlarının. Out.